Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Prasad Patridam, continuing my class series on scientific foundations of health, uh, building of healthy lifestyle for better future. On this topic, uh, I'm explaining about developing and uh, developing a healthy diet for good health, uh, food and health, nutritional guidelines for good health and well-being, obesity and overweight disorders and its management, eating disorders, uh, fitness component for health as well as wellness and physical function. All these classes are uh, made available to my YouTube channel, my intuition, please to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So first topic that is developing a healthy diet for uh, good health. Uh, consuming uh, a healthy diet uh, throughout the life, life course helps to prevent malnutrition in all it forms as well as a range of non-communicable diseases called NCDs and its conditions. However, the increased uh, production of uh, processed food, uh, rapid urbanization, and uh, the changing lifestyle has led to a shift in dietary patterns. The healthy uh, dietary, uh, the healthy diet uh, will vary depending on the individual characteristics like uh, age, gender, lifestyle, degree, or uh, uh, the physical activity, uh, etc. And uh, it also depends upon cultural context. Uh, local available foods, dietary customs. However, the basic principles of what constitutes a healthy diet remaining the same. Therefore, uh, 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 we can discuss about the healthy uh, diet uh, for adults. Uh, for adults, a healthy diet includes uh, the fruit, vegetables, uh, legumes uh, like lentils, beans, nuts, and uh, whole grain, example, and processed maize, millet, oat, wheat, brown rice, etc. At least 40, uh, 400 grams of fruit and vegetable per day, you should, uh, excluding the potato or sweet potato, cassava, and other starchy roots, then uh, only 25 to 50 grams of free sugar for a person of uh, a healthy body weight uh, should consume. 200 calorie, 2000 calorie per day. The free sugars are all sugar which are added to food or drink by the manufacturer or by during cooking or consumer, <clears throat> as well as the sugar naturally present in the honey, syrup, or fruit juice, and uh, fruit uh, concentrates. Then uh, unsaturated uh, fatty uh, acid or unsaturated fats are preferable to one. Uh, than uh, that of uh, saturated fat and trans fat as well as dominant fats. Now, uh, in particular, the industrially produced trans uh, fat are not part of the healthy diet and should not be avoided <clears throat> and should be avoided. The unsaturated fat are found in uh, fish, avocado, nuts, and in sunflower, soya bean, canola, olive oil, etc. Saturated fats are those are which are found in uh, fatty meat, uh, the butter, palm, and uh, coconut oil, cream, cheese, cheese, lard, etc. The trans fat, uh, fat uh, which include both industrially produced uh, trans fat found in the baked and fried food and prepackaged snacks, snacks and food uh, such as frozen pizza, peas, cookies, biscuits, wafers, cooking oil, and uh, spreads. The ruminant fat or ruminant uh, trans fat are found in meat and dietary food from ruminant animals such as cows, sheep, goat, and camels. So less than five gram of uh, salt, which is equivalent to approximately one teaspoon per day, is required. Salt and the salt should be iodized. Now for in infant or child, young children, <clears throat> the first two years of uh, a child's life. Optimal nutrition, uh, it is important for the healthy growth and uh, it improves their cognitive uh, development. It also reduces the risk of becoming overweight or, or obese and developing the NCDs uh, later in their life. And uh, for a healthy diet for infant, it is similar to that of the that uh, for adults. But some of the other elements are also important, like infants should be breastfed exclusively during the first six months of his life or her life. Infants should be breastfed continuously until two years of age and beyond. 
from 6 months of age uh, breast milk should be complemented with a variety of adequate safe and nutrient dense food salt and sugar should not be added to the complementary uh, food now the second topic that is food and health uh, our brain it uh, needs a lot of nutrient uh, for function and to keep us well eating uh, well eating well helps to reduce the risk of physical health problems like uh, heart diseases and diabetes it also uh, helps in uh, sleeping pattern uh, energy levels and our uh, general health uh, we may have um, noticed that our mood often affect the type of food uh, we choose uh, as well as how much we eat some food uh, can lift our mood energy levels and concentration while other food have the opposite effect for example eating a lot of uh, fresh fruits or vegetables nuts and whole grain can reduce our risk of uh, some mental health conditions such as depression while eating foods uh, that are high in sugar saturated uh, fat uh, may increase our risk so having a healthy balanced diet uh, plays an important role in our overall health and well being now the nutrition guidelines for uh, good health and uh, well being uh, daily reference intake uh, this is just a reference not exact we have to monitor so approximately energy 8400 kilojoule or 2000 kilo calories uh, needed total fat should not be less than uh, 70 gram saturates uh, should not be less than uh, 20 gram carbohydrate should not be less than 260 gram total sugar uh, 90 gram uh, protein 50 gram and salt less than 6 gram so these are the reference uh, intake uh, for our uh, <clears throat> the reference intake for uh, total sugar the total sugar include uh, uh, milk uh, uh, fruits uh, vegetables as well as added sugar so reference intakes are not meant to be a target they just give, give us a rough idea of how much energy we should be eating each day and how much fat sugar salt etc now obesity and uh, overweight disorder and its management the term overweight and obesity it refers to the body weight that is greater than what is considered normal or healthy for a certain weight the overweight is generally due to extra body fat however uh, overweight may also be due to extra muscle bone or water people who have obesity usually have to too much uh, body fat now reaching and uh, uh, staying at a healthy weight may be a long term challenge if you are overweight or have obesity so maintaining a healthy weight or at least not gaining more weight if you are already overweight can help lower our chances of developing certain health problems now managing uh, the obesity and overweight we must have a healthy eating plan and regular physical activity changing our habits <coughs> Uh, weight management programs, uh, weight loss medicines, uh, weight loss devices, uh, bariatric surgery, special diets, etc. Now, uh, uh, eating uh, uh, the healthy eating plan, you know, you say the healthy eating plan, the first point, healthy eating plan and regular physical activity. Uh, following a healthy eating plan with the fewer uh, calories, it is often uh, the first step in uh, trying to treat the overweight and obesity. And if you are overweight or have obesity, should also start regular physical activity when we begin our healthy eating plan. And being active may help us use calories and stay at a healthy weight. The second point that is changing our habits. Changing our eating and physical activity uh, habit and lifestyle, it is very difficult. But with the plan, effort and regular support and a lot of patience, we may be able to lose weight and improve our health. Now, weight management programs, so some people, they benefited from the formal weight management program. And in a weight management program, the trainer or the trained weight management specialist, he will design a broad plan just for us and help us carry out our plan. The plans include a lower calorie diet, increased physical activity, and ways to help us change our habits and stick with them. <clears throat> weight loss medicines when a healthy eating and physical activity habits are not enough 
our doctor may even prescribe medicine to treat overweight and obesity uh, weight loss devices uh, uh, doctor may consider the weight loss device if you haven't been able to lose weight or keep from uh, gaining back any weight we lost with other treatment because weight loss devices have only recently been approved and the researchers do not have a long term uh, data on that for the safety and eff effectiveness weight loss devices it include the electric stimulation system or gastric balloon systems uh, gastric uh, emptying systems uh, etc now bariatric uh, su surgery a surgery which include uh, several types of operations uh, that uh, help us to lose the weight by making changes to our digestive system bariatric surgery may be an option if we have extreme obesity and having been uh, uh, able to lose enough weight to improve our health or keep from gaining back the weight we lost in with the treatment <clears throat> now the special diets Mm, it can be calorie restricted diet or intermittent uh, fasting so calorie restricted diet means uh, doctor may recommend a low calorie diet such as 1200 2500 calories uh, a day for a woman and around uh, 1500 to 1800 calories a day for a man the calorie level uh, depends on our body weight and the physical activity level and a lower calorie diet uh, with a variety of uh, healthy food will give us the nutrient we need to stay healthy now the intermittent fasting that is alternate day fasting it is one of the type of uh, intermittent fasting that consists of a fast day that is eating no calories to one fourth of calories which is needed alternating with a fed day or the day of unrestricted eat now next point that is eating disorders <clears throat> eating disorders are the range of uh, psychological conditions uh, that cause unhealthy eating uh, habit to develop uh, they might start with an ob uh, obsession uh, with food body weight or body shape uh, in uh, several cases uh, eating disorder can cause uh, serious health consequences and uh, may even result in uh, death if uh, we feel left it untreated although eating disorders can affect people of any gender at any life stage they are most often reported that in adolescents and young women <clears throat> in fact uh, up to 30% of youth may experience uh, at least one eating disorder by the age of 20 now experts uh, believe that uh, uh, the eating disorder may be caused by a variety of factors uh, like uh, genetics uh, uh, one of these is genetics. Uh, personality traits are another cause, uh, in particular, uh, neurotism, uh, perfectionism, and impulsivity. These are the three personality traits often linked to a higher risk of developing an eating disorder. Uh, other potential causes, <clears throat> other potential causes include uh, perceived uh, pressure to be thin or cultural preferences for thinness and exposure to media promoting and such ideas now eating disorder uh, it includes uh, anorexia nervosa or bulimia nervosa binge eating disorder pica rumination disorder avoidant or restrictive food intake disorder other eating disorders like purging disorder and uh, night eating syndrome uh, and other specified uh, feeding or uh, uh, eating disorder uh, or OSFED such as uh, orthorexia. Now we'll check one by one. Anorexia nervosa is generally developed during the adolescence or uh, young adulthood and tend to affect more women than men. The people with uh, uh, anor anorexia generally view themselves as overweight even if they are dangerously underweight. They tend to constantly monitor their weight, avoid eating certain types of food, and severely restrict their calories. The common symptoms of anorexia nervosa include <clears throat> being considerably underweight compared with the people of similar age and food, very restricted eating patterns, an intense fear of gaining weight or a persistent behavior to avoid gaining weight despite being underweight, 
and uh, a re rent, uh, relentless uh, pursuit of thinness and unwillingness to maintain a healthy weight a heavy influence of body weight or uh, perceived uh, body shape on uh, self esteem a distorted body image including denial or uh, being of being uh, seriously underweight now the second one that is bulimia nervosa it is mainly found in men like anorexia bulimia tends to develop during the adolescence and early adulthood and appear to be less common among men than women and the people with uh, bulimia frequently eat unusually large amount of food in a specific period of time and each that eating uh, binge or binge eating episode usually continues until the person becomes painfully full during a binge the person usually feels that they cannot stop eating or control how much they are eating now the side effects of bulimia may include an uh, inflamed uh, inflamed and uh, sore throat swollen salivary glands worn tooth enamel tooth decay uh, acid reflux irritation of the gut severe dehydration and uh, hormonal dis uh, disturbances in severe cases uh, bulimia can also create an imbalance in levels of electrolytes such as sodium potassium and calcium can cause a stroke or heart attack now the binge eating uh, disorder it typically begins uh, during the adolescence and uh, early adulthood uh, although it can uh, develop later on also the individual with this disorder have the symptoms similar to those of bulimia or the binge eating uh, sub type of anorexia for instance they typically eat unusually large amount of food in a relatively short period of time and feel a lack of control during the binge the common sy symptoms uh, of uh, binge eating disorder includes uh, the eating large amount of food rapidly in a secret and until uh, comfortably full despite not feeling hungry uh, feeling a lack of control during episodes of binge eating <clears throat> feeling of uh, Uh, distress such as shame uh, disgust or uh, guilt when thinking about the binge eating behavior and uh, no use of uh, purging behaviors such as calorie restriction vomiting uh, excessive exercises uh, or laxity or uh, diuretic use to compensate for the binge uh, fourth one tikka tikka is a eating disorder that involves uh, eating things that are not considered as food the individual with the pika they eat non food substances which include ice dirt soil chalk soap paper hair cloth wool pebbles detergent or corn starch <clears throat> this disorder is almost frequently observed in children or pregnant women uh, even pregnant women and uh, individuals with uh, mental disabilities uh, individual with uh, pika may be at an increased risk of uh, poisoning uh, infections uh, gut injuries uh, nutritional deficiency etc now rumination uh, disorder rumination disorder it describes a condition in which a person uh, uh, regurgitates the food they have previously chewed that means they take out from the stomach to the to the mouth and they chew again then again swallow every chew it and then either they swallow it or spit it out this disorder it can develop uh, <clears throat> during the infancy childhood or even adult hood also in infant it tends to develop between 3 to 12 months of age and often disappear or on its own children uh, and adults with the condition usually require the therapy to resolve it or if not uh, the ruminant disorder can result in weight loss and uh, severe malnutrition uh, which can be fatal <clears throat> avoidant or restrictive food intake disorder uh, this uh, disorder uh, is a feeding disorder of infancy and early childhood individual with this disorder experience a disturbed eating either due to lack of interest in the eating or uh, distaste means tastelessness or a certain smell taste color texture or the temperature mm. avoidant uh, the common symptoms for uh, ar fid it include uh, avoiding uh, or restriction of food intake that prevents the person from eating sufficient calories or nutrient eating habits which interfere with the normal social functions such as eating with others weight loss or poor development for age and uh, height nutrient deficiencies or uh, dependence on uh, supplements for tube feeding now other uh, eating uh, 
<clears throat> even uh, the arfid that is uh, the avoidant uh, or restrictive food intake disorder uh, it is important not that when it goes beyond normal behavior such as the picky eating means we eat something which is only uh, which taste for us remaining item we won't eat this also found in toddlers or lower food intake in uh, the older adults the seventh point that is uh, other eating disorders there are two types so pur uh, purging disorder individuals with purging disorder often use purging behavior such as vomiting laxatives diuretics or excessive exercising to control their weight or shape however they do not binge mm, the second point in that that is night eating syndrome individuals with this syndrome frequently eat excessively uh, often after awakening from the sleep now other specified uh, feeding or eating disorders uh, uh, the one the disorder which are that may currently fall under the osfd is orthorexia uh, individual with orthorexia tend to have an obsessive focus on healthy eating to an extent that uh, disrupt their daily lives for instance uh, the affected person may eliminate entire food groups uh, fearing they are unhealthy this can lead to malnutrition severe weight loss difficulty eating outside the home and emotional distress and the individual with orthorexia rarely focus on losing weight <clears throat> instead their self worth identity or satisfaction is dependent upon how well they comply with their self imposed diet rules so these are uh, included in my class video to the my youtube channel my intuition a uh, few more uh, topics will be discussed in the coming classes actually uh, which i'll upload to my youtube channel hope you uh, it will help it help you to understand some of the topics uh, under uh, the given uh, subject uh, building of a healthy lifestyle for a better future so uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this class video in fact it was uh, almost a reading only because there was nothing extra to explain whatever the point that i collected i put it in the slide okay so thank you very much